Hello. Uh, today we're going to give you a quick catch up with what's been happening here over the weekend, and it has been it has been an eventful weekend, not necessarily uh, all in a good way. Mr. J and I have done <laughs> an awful lot of hard work here this weekend, uh, and here's why. The other night we were putting the ducks to bed and they had been doing their usual uh, No, we don't want to go to bed. You know what teenagers are like, don't you? So Liz had failed to get to bed. I had a very, very long day at work and uh, had a bit of a kip after work. So it was already getting quite dark by the time I came down to help put them to bed. And they were not in their usual place. They'd actually gone up. Uh, up there, which is where the run is, which currently has the bachelor cockroach, as you can hear in the background. And most of them were sitting around the old pond. One of them was sitting on her own, totally separately. And as I was herding the ducks to come down and, and get them to their, their shelter for the night, she came right up to me and laid her head on my boot, at which point I noticed blood. Uh, unfortunately it looks like she got foxed she wasn't killed uh, the fox had just bitten into her and um, managed to um, rip her throat so unfortunately we had to do the deed um, but she was very calm and it's, it's interesting because the ducks are quite um, nervy animals they don't particularly like being around us when we haven't got food for them um, but obviously they do see us as safety. That was one positive to come out of that. So we are down to uh, 11 ducks. Um, a banker's dozen, a banker's they call it. <laughs> or is that 10? I don't know, nine I think nowadays. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, we're down to 11 ducks and, and that's okay. Uh, it's just, uh, it was, it, was it would be nicer if it was 11 ducks because we'd planned it rather than it was planned for us. Yes. I think that's the thing. Um, you know, we actually have got slightly more ducks than we had anticipated having. And an awful lot more midges at the moment. You may see those as well. Um, we've got slightly more ducks than we'd anticipated having at this time of year. Yes. Um, and we have got eggs which are, we're pretty sure, fertile. So we will be hatching new ducklings during 2018 and increasing the flock again and then decreasing the flock again. That is the nature of small holding and, and self-efficiency. It is, yes. So Mr J and I uh, spent a vast amount of yesterday uh, preparing the uh, wood lengths from the uh, pallets and then we had to uh, go, <laughs> go out and buy new screws because we'd run out of appropriate screws. But anyway, we have made this uh, extra secure door uh, for the palace. So yesterday I was uh, not in the best frame of mind, I think is the, is the best way to phrase that. Uh, I was I was grumpy and uh, a bit snappy and a bit snarky and not feeling very well. Um, but we did manage to get that uh, fantastic door built uh, on the chicken palace and have got <laughs> It's so heavy, it takes both of us to open <laughs> it. Does, I do think that the, the door itself, I'm, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> is now foxproof. I've just got the horrible vision of the whole of the thing collapsing and the door still standing there. <laughs> <laughs> like, like those old car, not like a film set. Yeah. Where it, it, Everything it would, falls down, down yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that, yeah, that's another, it's another job done and it is one of those things that we knew needed doing. Um, and the, we've, we've up to the security on the duck mm -hmm. house and we're just going to be much more vigilant about uh, getting the ducks to bed. Uh, Even when they don't want to. Especially when they don't want to. <laughs> um, before dusk happens. Well that's it for me today. I'm heading back indoors to go and have a cup of tea and get all warm and cosy again. And so... Wherever you are in the world and whatever you're up to today, 
I hope it's a good one for you. And I also hope you can join me again tomorrow.